Hey, what's going on, everybody? Q here once again with another video. And today, I'm going to be talking about why I choose to drive my Camaro in the wintertime and through the snow and all. So, uh, I was somewhat skeptical about making the video because it's my own personal choice. And if I want to do it, I should be able to do it with no question. Oh, free stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, enjoy. Okay. Hello. Do you, do you have any more of those? I'm sorry. I don't have any more to give. But I got quite a few comments. And uh, I'll just explain why I choose to drive the car in the snow. So I do appreciate the concern and uh, all the safety requests and anything else that people might have for me, but I'll be okay, I promise I will. And if you like what you're seeing, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, be greatly appreciated. So let's hop in to my reasons. So the first reason I drive my car in the winter time is because it can handle it. It can obviously handle it. I'm not the only person to do it. I'm not insane, it's kind of what Michiganders do. I know a bunch of people that drive their sports cars in the winter times, bunch of Camaros, a whole lot more Mustangs, and I see more Chargers and Challengers than anything else. I see more Hellcats out in the winter times than I do Camaros, and this is quite a uh, quite a lot to be to be honest. And uh, the car can handle it. It has snow mode, snow and ice mode, and I got winter tires on the car, so it's really not that big of a deal. So uh. The only problem I would ever have is uh, taking off. And the winter tires, it helps out with that. If I run into deep snow, which I don't have to, like if I'm at work in the snow, I'll just leave. If I'm at home, I won't go out. That's that's with any car I have. Like if it's that bad, I just won't go out. I'll stay in. And I'm, I'm thankful to have that luxury to just stay in if I need to. So another reason I drive this car in the winter it's uh it's not a classic car they don't make a whole lot of them but i seriously doubt the 2020 camaro will go down in history as one of the cars that sold for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in the future and uh yeah it's, it's certain cars i wouldn't drive like i had a 2001 e39 m5 i didn't drive that in the winter but every other car i drove in the winter time and the only reason I didn't drive the BMW is because that car is kind of fragile. And it's expensive to uh, fix when something breaks. But this car is totally capable of handling it. And, uh, I, I don't think this is going to be a future classic. And I definitely won't own the car by the time it is a classic. I generally only have my car for like one year tops. I might have this one longer, but who knows? Who knows how I feel? Reason number three. It is so fun to drive this car all the time. I never, ever go to drive my Flex when the Camaro's in the garage, which it always is. The only time I choose the Flex over the Camaro is if I'm going a long distance with my whole family. Even short distances, I choose the Camaro. It's just a fun car to drive, and I can let it get loose just a little bit in the wintertime. Not anything crazy. When I want to drive it normally, it can drive like a normal car. It has 455 horsepower, but if you go light on the throttle, it drives like a four-cylinder Camry out there. Just don't floor it. I know another thing that people do when they have cars like the Camaro is they buy a beater car for the winter. And I did have a beater at one point. I had a 94 or 95 Land Cruiser when I did have the M5 that I spoke of earlier. And it was an interesting car. The Land Cruiser was good. But with this car, I I don't have to buy a beater car. Like, insurance in Michigan is the highest of all the states. And I don't want another bill. I don't want to buy another car where I don't have any garage space to park it. I have to park it on my grass in the backyard like I did my, my Land Cruiser, which I don't like to do. It's messing up my grass. The insurance per month and the cost of another car. It'll just be cheaper just to throw a set of winter tires on the car. And then who's to say if the other car won't break down? I just don't want to be in a boring car. So I choose to drive the Camaro every single day that I can. 
So another uh, thing that people think that I just slip and slide all over the place, which is not true. I live in Michigan. I'm in the Great Plains, so everything is just flat. It's rarely, there's no hills where I live at, so I don't have to worry about inclines. If I had to worry about that, like if I were in Colorado or something, then maybe I would uh, second guess that. I would drive an Audi or a Subaru or something, but that's not an issue here. And uh, to be honest, like people in trucks, they think they, they have more authority over the road. But when you look at, when you throw physics into the equation, trucks, they can go better. And I can go just as well with my winter tires too. I just have to take it a little slower. But what people tend to forget is uh, it's more important to stop than it is to go when it's cold outside. Like, because uh, ice, it doesn't care. Or the lack of friction. Whatever you're driving, you're just going to not stop. Like, ice doesn't care. The lack of friction doesn't care. So with the Camaro, it's a, it's a pretty light car. It's lighter than a lot of your daily commuters out there. And I have the huge brakes on there, too, the huge rotors. I have the stopping power, so I, I should be able to stop. And the winter tires make it easier to stop as well. So I am good. Trust me. So that sums up why I choose to drive my Camaro in the snow, in the winter, rain hell any type of weather i'm driving the car but i i don't want to come off as if i'm angry or anything i do appreciate the comments and i appreciate the love everybody's showing me since i started this channel and at the end of december i do appreciate that I'm not trying to come off as angry or anything just explaining why i drive my car now other people do the same thing it's it's a common thing if you go online you'll see for any given car, you'll find a forum of what winter wheels people drive. And I, I looked on the Camaro 6 forums, and there's a forum for uh, what 1L lead drivers drive in the winter time. And that's how I picked my tires. It was right on tire rack, same exact tires that somebody else had. But I do thank everybody that comments on the channel. Appreciate y'all a whole lot. So if it's your first time stopping through, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Browse the channel. Got a few more videos on the Camaro. And, uh, looking forward to do some mods. It's starting starting to warm up outside here in Michigan. Today is like 50 degrees. And I don't know. We're still not out of that area yet. It was forecasted to snow this morning. So I'm not going to put my summer tires on just yet. Maybe at the end of the month. And I'm definitely looking forward to that. So I can do some, some exciting videos with those tires on. But uh... With that, thank you all for stopping by. Take care.